Well, hey, 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 everybody. I am Marshawn Olanio, your favorite life relationship strategist. And I help Christian women that are married on long-term relationships to stop feeling disconnected and unloved and shift them to feeling heard, understood, and appreciated. Now we have something special for you today. We are talking to a Tantra sex Ologist today. And I am super, super excited to have this conversation. I know that it's going to be juicy, but I also know that it's going to help the couples out there that need the help because sex is a topic that most people do not talk about. Even though we know that we want it, we know that we need it, right? We fail to have the conversation so both parties can absolutely enjoy the experience. Most of the time, we're just going along with the flow, not really taking the time to stop, have the conversations about what I like, what I don't like, what you like, what you don't like, right? And so I wanted to bring our expert here today, Miss Sequia Whitfield, our Tantra sexologist, so she can come here and answer some of the questions that you may have had. So go ahead, sit down with your popcorn, bring your partner, all right? Because we're about to get into the juice so you both can have some fun literally some fun within the bedroom. So now let me just do the introduction of Sequita and then we're gonna bring her on, all right. So Sequita's gift is the ability to help you connect with that place within you where no harm has ever come, your infinite self. Sequita practices a trauma-informed holistic healing modality that has lineage-based Tibetan elemental meditation healing practices, along with somatic Western and Eastern influences. Sequita has great success with those individuals who want to transform, heal, and grow into the spiritual and full sexual being that we are meant to be. Come on home to yourself. As seen on Sex is Medicine TV with Debbie Ward Erickson and the upcoming show, Gourmet Sex Online Retreat, which starts June 2021. Sequita Whitfield, BA, is a certified authentic Tantra practitioner and Tantra Mastery Instructor, which she received this at the Institute of Authentic Tantra Education. She's also, okay, she's still going, okay? She's also a certified sexologist as well as a certified life coach. Sequita has retired from a career in law enforcement, also has a background in substance abuse counseling, <laughs> we're still going, community theater as well as dance and stand-up comedy. Sequita is based in San Diego, California, and she is available and open to help coach you locally as well as virtually. So go ahead and put your hands together. I know we can't see you. Put your hands together for Miss Sequita Whitfield. Hello, Sequita. How are you? How are you? Hello, 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 Marshawn. I'm wonderful. I'm better than good. Thank you for having me. Thank you for agreeing to come on to Marshawn O and help spreading the your message with Marshawn O community. We are super, super excited to have you here and I am totally ready to jump into it. Are you ready? Oh, absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So we're going to jump right into the juicy, right? So we talked about sex, right? And so what is the difference between regular sex and tant tantric sex? Oh, great question. Um, you know, the regular sex is typically um, an afterthought for one. It's after the day is done. You know, both parties are tired. You just, you're like, okay, you want to do it? Do you want to do it? Okay. You know, we'll do it. <laughs> You know, um, you know, sometimes it's just uh, you've got a few minutes go for it, especially if you have families or, you know, you're really, really busy. And so, like I said, it's more of an afterthought and it's more of, yes, there may be um, gratification, but not always fulfillment. Mm, mm, mm. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. And so that's a whole nother topic. You know, that's, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and. Tantric sex is more, it's slower, um, meaning like it's more intentional, it's more mm -hmm. deliberate. There's usually mm -hmm. a beginning, a middle, and an end. It, there's more of a sacred sexuality component to it, meaning okay. um, when I teach couples, it's to teach them to make that connection on purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, there's been a lot of controversy about like um, 
putting a date on the calendar, setting a date for, you know, mm -hmm. that people seem to, think, seem to think that that's like cold or impersonal when in actuality, if you go into it with a more sacred sexuality aspect of it, it's on purpose, it's intentional. You make a date with each other. You are saying to your partner, we are doing this together. It is a team sport. You know, it's like, we, we want this. And I like, okay, can I interject really quickly? Absolutely. I love that because that is absolutely what I teach my community about scheduling. I know that it's not a sexy word, but it is about you being intentional. It's about you both showing up. It's about you both um, thinking about and even creating that anticipatory moment that's going to come, right? So you both can show up for one another as well as for this experience. So I wanted to say that resonates with the community so well. So thank um, you for mentioning that. I'm so happy to hear that because um, you can, if, if when you're talking to your, your people, when you're coaching, I offer that you, at, you, you, you ask them to call it a sacred date. Mm, like you that, know, sacred date. You know, rather than uh, we're gonna have sex on Tuesday the 1st. <laughs> Right, right, right. That doesn't sound so sexy. And what right? happens? What happens in that is that the anticipation of meeting with your mate is actually the, the beginning of the date. That's the anticipation that you know on Thursday we have two hours blocked out for each other, and it's just you and me, baby. And the juices start flowing then, that meaning does. she starts to get ready then. Mm -hmm. You know, because it doesn't take much for men, but <laughs> women. And hear me now, takes a little bit longer, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so we start with the mental seduction. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's what's important. And soon that, if the, anything, that's the main difference between regular sex and tantric sex is that regular sex, like I said before, is just, okay, we got time, let's go for it. You, you ready? You ready? You know, that kind of thing. But with the tantric date, you are specifically, you're doing it on purpose. Love it. Love it. The sexy text can't wait to meet up with you, phone calls. You know, she's like getting turned on and he's also recognizing that he's part of it and not just a, well, for lack of a better word, a tool. I love it, I love it. Okay, yeah. well, what about, um, cause you mentioned making a sacred appointment, but what about the, making the space? Um, what Thank what about the space? Absolutely, it's, a, it's what I call, we call sacred space. And so, You've got your date set, you've got your, you know, the whole the time blocked out, you've got a sitter or whatever you need to do, you've got to book the hotel room, whatever you need to do to create that mm -hmm. sacred space starts there. But what that also means is you want to use the five elements, your five senses. Okay. And you can create this space together. Um, for the like the first time you actually do this sacred date. And then going forward, one of you can choose who's going to set up the space tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, and he can set up one night and she can set up the next. But what that looks like is your, your five senses. You know, you've got your fire. So that's going to be a candle or, you know, something pretty to look at and associate with the color red. Maybe it can be a red candle or red um, light bulb, you know, but okay. you want to ignite that fire, which is in your sex chakra, the fire element. And then you want to engage your, 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 um, your earth element, which is taste. So you want to maybe create some hors d'oeuvres or chocolate or fruit or something that both of you agree on. Yeah, this is what we want to have in our space. Okay. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And along with that also, and so then you want to have water element. So that could be tea, coffee, wine, juice, whatever it is that is liquid mm -hmm. that signifies, okay, we brought in the water element. And then the space element is your, um, I always forget that one, sound. So you want to have music and that music can be whatever playlist you choose. It could be, you know, that Luther McGrandros, Barry White, you know, music, or it can be head banging music, whatever, you know, whatever works add, for you, huh? <laughs> whatever the two of you agree on. And it could always change up during that, those, you know, no, those, those two hours or so of time. Um, and then lastly, you want to, you know, invite smell, the air element. So you might have aromatherapy along with that candle or incense or mm -hmm. just whatever smells good to you and your partner. And if you, and if either one of you are like sensitive to smell, then have a fan or some air movement in the room. Okay. Yes. Now, now why, why, um, why must we have all five elements? So say for instance, if one is missing, then what? Nothing's off center. Nothing gets off, you know, okay. but. 
when you engage all five senses, then your whole body, mind, spirit, and sex is connected because all five of those senses are can correlate with five chakras. That's oh, I see. Okay. Part. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's the tantric part is that you're engaging all in the major five um, uh, chakras. So water being part of your head is in your head, air being your throat chakra. So you're saying, I love yous and talking and, you know, expressing your, your appreciation for each other. And that's a, a workshop that I offer. And then there's the heart chakra, which is your space, mm -hmm. keeping heart open to each other. Does that make sense? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your earth chakra is, you know, right behind your navel. And that's where you're, you're grounded and you're nourishing each other and you're putting, setting aside each other's pride and, you know, just kind of being present. And then your fire chakra, which is right behind your pubic bone and your sex chakra. And that's where all the, you know, the goody stuff starts and happens. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and we want to join. We want to become unionized in that space. So that's why we say all five senses. Oh, I love, I really love that. And I don't think I remember all of the, the, the senses in this way. So I'm glad that you broke that down. And I'm sure my audience is able to take away from, from the five senses. Because again, I, I didn't even think about it. So I'm sure somebody else out there is wondering yeah. that. So thank yeah. you for taking us a little yeah. bit deeper. So yeah, now is there something it, else that makes, I'm sorry. Think, no, no. think of it this way. You've got five senses. You yes. have your eyes, ears, taste, touch, smell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. those are your five senses yeah okay all right yeah that makes sense all makes right. total sense perfect okay so now what about the blocking Ooh, -wee. okay so mm. <laughs> she ready y'all she ready y'all better get ready <laughs> number one blocks to bliss first of all what is a block to bliss you everyone is born in a blissful state everybody is born completely whole perfect and complete it's just that as we grow older and all the other obscurations meaning all the other blocks come in parental uh, influences educational influences church influences mm -hmm. you know uh, peer pressure all these things block our bliss and sex being one of the most blissful experiences we can have um, gets blocked off and I mentioned several earlier, you know, um, work, children, family, those blocks. True, right? true indeed, true indeed, yes. Right? <laughs> those get in the way of experiencing pure, like, connection with each other. We're talking about sex between, uh, you know, you specifically said Christian couples. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so um, one of the blocks is lack of education, meaning um, people are fearful to talk about sex mm. because they don't really quite understand it. They really don't under, you know, and I'm gonna, mm, both men and women don't always understand the uh, anatomy mm -hmm. of women. Men's anatomy, because it's external, it's pretty self-explanatory. Right. Can I be explicit? Please go ahead. So, um, so men have a penis mm -hmm. and they have testicles. And in, mm -hmm. in Contra, we call the, the penis a lingam and their testicles jewels. So it softens the language. Okay. And it's sexier. Whereas women's sexual genitalia is internal mm -hmm. and the only thing external is the clitoris or, and, the vul and the vulva, the, the, the labia, the minor and majora labia and, uh, and the beginning of the introitus, which is the opening of the vagina. Mm -hmm. um, in tantric speech, we call the vulva the yoni which okay. is softer, which is the Hindu word for, for, for vulva. The vulva is actually the outside of the woman's um, genitalia. Where we used to say, people would say, oh, that's your vajayjay, that's your coochie, that's mm -hmm. your, mm -hmm. was so uncomfortable calling it what it is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? And it's not the vagina, the vagina is internal. <laughs> it's actually the yes. canal, okay. Yes. The clitoris we call a bliss pearl. So it's, a, you know, it's, a, yeah, see? That's sexy. <laughs> it just softens it up, you know, it just softens it up. You know, and the actual introitus, the actual vagina is the sacred gate. Yeah, love it, right? love it, yes. You know? And so the lingam is your, you know, your, your jade uh, gate, which is, you know, it goes into the sacred space. It's a light of, you know, the wand of light. You know, so it's just, you know, when you can incorporate those sexier words, mm -hmm. then it's easier to become familiar with the body. Okay. Part. Okay. That's okay. the lack of education part. Because if a, young, a woman can say, could you touch my bliss pearl this way or that way, please. Mm. 
he's more apt to, and I guarantee you more apt to say, oh, heck yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So, You're right with the language. You're right. Because it language. makes it sexier. Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, for sure. It softens the language. You know, anus is the rosebud. Okay, rosebud. Okay. Yeah, yeah you know, so, okay. so yeah, we have tantric speech. Um, lack of awareness. Now, this is a big one. Lack of awareness is, um, along with the educational process, arousal process for women men their arousal process is pretty evident as they get turned on as the blood flows to the genitalia mm -hmm. the lingam gets erect gets hard you know there's physical signs of arousal right mm -hmm. women tend to be again um more covert so if you unless you become familiar and you want to and with the process of you know looking at the yoni you'll notice and this is the thing i offer to couples take during this date like especially the first date mm -hmm. you introduce each other to each other's yoni and lingam even though i don't care how long you've been married i don't care how long mm -hmm. you've been together mm -hmm. it, you know reintroduce yourself because after like i said it becomes an afterthought you become familiar you know, but reintroduced it, have him take the time to really look. And this is uncomfortable at first, especially good Christian girls who are taught mm -hmm. they're not allowed to really, you know, have enjoy that. Enjoy it. It's dirty. Enjoy. Yeah. Good girls don't, bad girls do. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's a big one, especially around the arousal process. So in introduce each other to each other's, um, you know, um, yoni and lingam and that those sacred spaces, because if he can notice like when she's getting aroused she becomes her, her labias become more plump more fuller mm -hmm. even though she, you know she becomes a little more wet mm -hmm. um the clitoris the the bliss pearl will become more prominent okay um things like that there's more but okay that's okay the, that's the introduction, you know, and, and, it, and it's funny to have him like, not like looking like, you know, <laughs> but just <laughs> we're talking about like from a little distance, right? We're talking about just, just really like, taking it in, just taking it in, you know, if she's propped up on the bed and, he, and they're both looking and exploring, you know, and it doesn't have to be for a long time, but just, you know, just that initial reintroduction, you know, and then vice versa, she may just want to take a look at his ling and really look you know and just appreciate him men are so underappreciated sexually they're because earlier i said they're they're most often looked as a tool you know yes. like give it to me do this to me you know and so he's a um mm, robot came to mind but that's not the word i mean it's like he's he's supposed to perform an action yeah yeah do it do it let's get, let's yeah, get to it on. yeah yeah, yeah. And so when she takes the time to really, and, and in my practice, I teach couples how to do what's called um, consensual uh, awareness practice, where yeah, the perfect. couples will put hands on each other and the couples and I will walk them through, and there it can be clothed or unclothed, it's their option, but I will walk them through this process I'm talking about, where they, mm -hmm. they actually look at each other's- Oh, children. I see, perfect. Yeah, and they look at each other and, he, and she can take the time to do even a lingam massage and he can mm -hmm. actually do a yoni massage. So these are all tantric practices that anyway, they can be taught. Uh, lack of sensation. A lot of times women are, uh, and I say women, but men also experience, this, especially if there's trauma, especially if there's some kind of abuse in the history and it could be physical, sexual, emotional, doesn't matter. Most okay. trauma settles in the, in, the, in the pelvic area. Okay. Um, so most times women are um, what we call numb and then they experience pain, then they experience irritation and then they've experienced pleasure. So they may be numb. You can, you know, they say, I don't feel that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I teach couples how to re-engage with the pleasure. Love it. Love it. Okay. okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm loving all of this. So uh, yeah, let's move on. I'm super happy that you introduced <laughs> and talked about the differences, but I want to move on to something a little more juicy. Okay. okay. So okay. what is the question that should be asked, but isn't being asked? Oh my gosh. All right. So the most, okay. That question is how important to lovemaking is semen retention. How important to love making is semen retention. Okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, really quickly, what is semen retention? It is, it is 
retaining your semen while still maintaining your erection. I'm talking to men. Okay. Okay. Um, most, in, most penetrative sex between, a, you know, a husband and wife lasts anywhere between two minutes and seven. Wow. That's really mm -hmm. short. It is very short, but okay. it's been proven. I, yeah, it's been proven that the actual penetrative part. Now, there may be foreplay. There may be, like I said, there may be some, you know, foreplay. But the actual, from penetrating penetration to ejaculatory um, oh, orgasm okay. is two to seven minutes. A lot of men just do not last longer than that. If they do, then they're doing what's called edging, which means they're actually. Um, mm -hmm. stopping themselves from ejaculating. They at the edge and they like, no, 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 exactly. no. Stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. Hold up, stop moving. Exactly. <laughs> they were like, they're about to come, I don't want to come. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and so so what the, what's happening is that they're actually tensing their body. And, and mm -hmm. when they do that, yes, it does um, halt or slow down the ejaculation process, but it also removes them from their heart connection with their partner. And you just said it. Stop, don't move, don't move. I'm about mm -hmm. to you know, like, so oh, all of a sudden yeah. she's like, well, wait, I was just getting good. You know, what's going on? And he's like, I'm not trying not to come. And he's tensing up and he's pulled away. And, and in that moment, when he pulls away heart-wise, because he's trying to concentrate, mm -hmm. the couple, they've lost their their blissful connection. Uh -huh. So he really should just let it go and they stay connected? That's where the semen retention comes in. Now there's a proper okay. way to, uh, and I really can't go into it right now, to learn how to retain your semen, which means to separate ejaculation from orgasm. To separate them, okay, mm -hmm. okay. Men think, men think that um, if they don't ejaculate, they, they, they have not orgasmed, and that's not true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Men and women can experience various, almost 16 types of orgasms, and they're not all pelvic related, they're not all genitalia related. But when a man becomes proficient at separating his orgasm from ejaculation, his orgasm, and there's videos I can share with you, proof talking to men who learn this process mm -hmm. of the tantricas, um, that they, their orgasms are much stronger, much more full body, more um, intense than just the ejaculation mm -hmm. type mm -hmm. orgasm and and my colleagues who have experienced this and who practice this practice and my clients say that the longer they go the average time that they should uh, ejaculate is anywhere between seven and ten days so a lot of okay. that mm -hmm. semen retention have learned how not to ejaculate um for up to 10 days mm. so that when they do ejaculate it's on purpose it's mindful it's with intent I see. You know, and their partner is. Wow. Engaged. I know. I know. I feel. <laughs> wow. So, so this is why they want to come see me. So, yes. <laughs> you know, and couples and, 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 and their partner, their wife helps them learn this process. Men practice it on their own, but it's also helpful if the wife is engaged in helping them learn this process because, okay, then perfect, it's, perfect. you know, a lot of men balk at first. They're like, what do you mean? You know, what about my blue balls? Mm -hmm. And what happens is that because I teach this process in such a way that when you do not ejaculate, there's also a component to that, that they uh, learn how to reabsorb their semen into the body because that's protein and it goes back into the body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and then there's another exercise we do so that it exercises the jewels so that they don't hurt. Because it is oh, I, Listen, listen, you have brought the thunder today you have really brought some information you opened up my eyes i'm sure you opened up the eyes of our fellow community and so thank you so much for taking Wait, a short I, amount of time can I, of your can I, offer, day. can I just offer one more important thing offer one more one, one more, more important, important thing. thing please do please do yes i mentioned it earlier about communication please and thank you go a long way during the act or through just period during the act or during the, during the union, during the sexual union with each other, rather than saying, don't touch me, don't do it that way. I like what you're doing, but could you do this, please? Mm. He, will, he or she will respond so much better. And when they do that, acknowledge them with a thank you. And say it again. Say it again. What should they do? What should they say? I like what you're doing, but if you, could you do this a little slower? Or could you move it to the right? Or could okay. you, you know, could we stop for a second, please? 
So more okay. direction, but very um, um, like without demands. Don't okay. do it that way. Stop. Ah, that's the difference. More direction without demands. Yes. Softer, Please. sweeter, but still getting your needs met. Absolutely. But still appreciating and gratitude for what he's already doing and giving. Both of them. She too, because he can ask for what he wants when he's when she's giving him oral sex, you know, mm -hmm. try, could you go a little slower? Could you hold the base a little firmer? Could you not, you know, go so deep? Because a lot of men don't like deep throat, but yeah. men are not conditioned to ask for what they want. Mm, They're just so happy it. she's giving him oral. They're like, I ain't going to say nothing. You know? <laughs> just, just, just don't use the teeth. <laughs> just, 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 I just, you know, that hurts. I'm not going to say nothing because you <laughs> not doing it again for months, you know? That's true. That's true. So That's please true. and thank you go a long way. I love it. Okay, well, Miss Sequita Whitfield, how how can they get in contact with you? What are you working on? And do you have anything to offer them for free? I know I kind of ran it all to you, but yes, what are you working on? How can they get in contact with you, especially couples and for one partner, just to get started with you? Because you mentioned virtually as well as locally. So yes, give us the tea. Oh my goodness, thank you. First of all, I offer a, a thirty minute free consultation. So they can go to my website at simply dash at simply hyphen tantra.com and click on, you know, make an appointment now, book a discovery session. Perfect. Um, they can reach me at sequita at simply hyphen tantra.com. Gmail, you know, that's my email. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I'm on Facebook, simply tantra, Facebook. Okay. Yeah. And um, any I'm projects or any? Um... I don't have, I ha I'm offering a workshop for couples. As soon as we can really safely connect. Um, wait, can, wait, can, um, it was something going over your mic so we couldn't hear you. So I'm offering a, um, I would like to offer an in-person couples workshop. And I, as soon as we can safely, you know, social distancely do that, and it'll be uh, in the fall. So the fall. And you can also find me as a Tantra Mastery Instructor at the Institute of Authentic Tantra. Wow. So ladies and gentlemen, especially if you're watching this with your spouse, definitely reach out to Miss Sequita. She will help you reach your bliss, right? And get rid of those blockages and teach you all of the practices so you can have a closer bond, a better sex life and a more intentional sex life. Mm -hmm. And uh, one thing that I want to wrap up to say is that most people think that Tantra is um, really, really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, mainly like the BDSM, right? What, what they, they think most of, uh, from what I've heard, you know, they think that it's always involving the BDSM, BDSM yeah. um, stuff. So I know that it's not like that. You've heard it here firsthand. Usually she didn't even bring it up. Yes, we, 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 we ran out of time, so we don't have time to talk about it, but you see, she didn't even bring it up, right? So just, just keep your mind open, right? Be open to the conversations, be open to the conversations, not only with the professional, but also with your spouse. And so if you need more help in this area, right? So it, just to have the conversations, to feel more comfortable, right? So you both are relaxing. So you both can get the joy, right? And the bliss from your sexual experiences, definitely reach out to Miss Sequita Whitfield. So thank you so much for coming today. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Um, okay, family, Marshawn Olanio here. I cannot wait to bring my next expert to you. And so uh, we will be doing that in the, in the, in the um, near future. So definitely go ahead, reach out if you need some information from me just to talk about relationships in general. Reach out to Sequita if you want to talk about um, your sexual relationship, right? So definitely thank you so much for coming today. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I will see you all next time. All right. Bye now.